All right, check it out now. I got a acorn, and uh, this is my bench test, as you can tell from the spaghetti madness going on here. That's pretty much how all the bench tests look. You just want to kind of get things going. What I've got here are four Oriental uh, Alpha Step motor drivers and four Oriental uh, ASM 911 AA motors. These would have been equipped on direct drive Alpha tools, uh, ShopBot Alpha um, machines around 2004 to 2006. And uh, this is just a bench test before I uh, tidy all this stuff up and bring it out into the shop and hook it up to my newer Alpha Drive, which has 7.2 to 1 um, Alpha gearbox motors on it. So, um, before I begin, I just want to express some gratitude. Thanks so much to Keith at Centroid. Um, to Gary Campbell and to Marty for all their helpful posts, all their helpful videos. Um, I'd be a lot further behind than, <clears throat> than I am today uh, if it wasn't for them. So thanks so much for that. And, you know, I've messed around and tested and done so many bench tests with various controllers over the years. Um, the acorn is no exception in terms of you might run into some issues along the way so one of the issues that i ran into was that i couldn't use these um headers here for step and direction i had to access the db25 port and um these drives are a bit older technology so i think the newer tech drives um, work uh, with with these headers, but for the older drives, um, you're going to have to get it off the the DB25. So, um, and these are excellent drives, by the way. These were used extensively in uh, automation for for years. They're they're a very solid, robust drive. Um, so. Let's have a look at what we got here. You'll you may or may not notice that this is not the power supply that came with the Acorn. This is a uh, 2412 and 5 volt uh, triple output power supply. This is Acorn 397. So at that time, only a 24 volt power supply was available. So rather than have a couple different power supplies because I need 5 volts for the drives. You can see that 5 volts coming out here and and go into the uh, the drive breakout. Um, I went with this uh, this triple output one that I had laying around and uh, it's been working fine. I've got the um, <clears throat> basically I've only got the step and direction in commons coming out of the DB25 um, I do have a normally closed e-stop wired up. Um, I've got the input block energized with 24 volts, and I've got my 24 common going over to the uh, e-stop block over here. Um, you know, you can do this stuff, and you can read the documentation and still screw up. I had 24 volts going over here, and when I energized the system, that I heard some high-pitched noises that didn't sound right, so I immediately shut things off to discover that uh, that should have been 24 volts common and not 24 volts positive. So um, double-check your wiring. One thing to note, um, these are not the original rainbow connectors that were attached to the ShopBot Alpha board. Um, you know, it... It's very, very technical, and it um, requires a good bit of soldering skills and dexterity to make these. So, you know, I'm not saying you have to be an electrical engineer, but it's a bit of a challenge to make these cables and get them to adapt. You can't just use the ShopBot um, cables right out of the box without jumping through major hoops. 
Um, so what's really cool about this um, Acorn setup is that it outputs 400,000 steps and the Shopbot system I believe maxes out around 50. Now the difference is that the Shopbot is combined. It's like if you're running four axes it's 50,000 divided by the number of axes you have and they're shared. So that brings you down to like 12,500 steps. And what the Alpha brought to the table is that these drives permit electronic shifting where you can be micro-stepping and then do a jog move and it'll cut the steps by a factor of 10 and uh, reduce the pulse stream by that much. But with the Acorn, that's not necessary. Um, with the Acorn, it's just so fast that you can just run it open and there's no problem. You're, you're not going to really need um, any more speed. So um, this is uh, basically my, my bench test setup. And uh, let's go ahead and... Let's run it around a little bit. So you can see I've got the um, the two X motors here, X2 and X1. They're uh, sharing the signal. And because Acorn only gives you uh, four channels. So I wanted to leave a channel open either for a second uh, Z-axis and accessory axis or for rotary so I've given up independent uh, gantry squaring as a result but um, I have an axis free for rotary so these two guys are paired together and uh, if you I'm not sure if you can see that or not you can see so we're moving moving that x-axis around and we can switch over to the y get a little bit of vibration from the motor and uh, die bond backer I've got here the uh, the motors just sound so clean and um, they, it, it just works you know it, it hooks right up and I'm just so over USB and USB to serial conversions and things like that I mean that that would have been fine in 2005 maybe up to 2010 but you know we're coming up on 2019 and uh, no changes are being made you can see I've got my little toy here which I ordered from Centroid on Sunday and today is Tuesday. I got it in my hot little hands. And I know that it's been mentioned on the forum. And of course it's number one in the instructions, which I did not read first off, that this little knob, I thought I got gypped. It wasn't in when I first opened the package. However, if you take off the rubber surround, it's stored in here where the batteries go. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, this is fantastic. Um, we can move it, select axis. So I'm going to select my x-axis. I don't know if you can see that on the LCD, but I can zero out that axis right there where the tool is sitting. And I like to do that on my CNC router is, okay, fine, we've got our limits set and all that kind of stuff. Just come in here and arbitrarily move the tool where I need it to be get it perfectly lined up and then zero out an axis so let's say we're going to zero out the Y axis no more ZY and and uh, using the mouse or anything else I can take this with me over to the area and be right there with the action and I don't have a big wireless keyboard or anything like that this fits in my hand nice 215 bucks. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Get yourself one. They're awesome. Let's 
zeroed out my Y. There we go, right? And there's all kinds of other little goodies on here I haven't fully explored yet. But this is a real game changer for the way that I work, especially being able to align things up perfectly. Uh, if you have to pick something up on a part, um, you know, people come over with things like guitars that need to be engraved and things like that. Things where you're just not going to want to use a probe or anything else where you could possibly uh, hurt the part. You can just come in nice and easy and line things up. So this is really fantastic. I'm really excited about this. I've wanted one of these suckers for like, I don't know, 10 years. Ever since I saw it on Mach 3. And I hate Mach 3. So... That's why I didn't have one until today. So, anyway, this is my uh, ShopBot PRT Alpha bench test with the Acorn. I'm really excited, and I hope to do a video moving forward, um, possibly comparing the ShopBot system and the Acorn system head-to-head -head and see... Um, if there's any difference using the exact same speeds and the exact same settings for machining um, the same part so uh, that's something I'm, I'm looking forward to trying out so stay tuned